Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, players. It's another Friday in August. This wonderful 2020. Uh, said no one ever, but that still makes it a wonderful day for basics. As you know, I'm trying to do a little buildy buildy action here, so I find myself on OGS again. Because I, I feel like building up against Western players is probably going to be the thing that showcases building in all of its glory and all of its drawbacks because they're they're a little bit more build oriented and they have a little more experience you know dealing with people who are trying to build so uh, maybe we'll try to get ourselves a one done game or something over on OGS for all of our buildy needs today who knows could be a little bit of a challenge but do you know what's not a challenge? Hosting your own tournament. Turns out the fine folks at Baduk.club have been busy at work behind the scenes since maybe you last checked in with them. It's not live, I do believe, at the time of this recording, but they are revamping their website, including integration with OGS. They're currently working with the AGA's Ego Congress people so that pairings for tournaments have never been easier. If you find yourself in need of a way to make tournaments easier on yourself, well, you might want to go and email them at hello at baduk.club for early access to their new website so you can take a lot of that headache off your hands. And for the rest of us, of course, you definitely want baduk.club bookmarked on all your browsers. That way, when it is safe to do so in your area, you can venture out again and meet people, find the Go Clubs near you, and just enjoy Go. We'll be able to do it. Just you wait and see. Game started. All right, looks like I got a game. And don't you know it? He's playing the 3-3. So this may actually be uh, the easiest growth game ever. <laughs> He's literally playing for territory, so I'm going to play for influence and see where we go from here. Sure. What do you want to do? You got double three threes. Is he going to take my three three as well? Is that what's going on here? Ooh, I can't wait to find out. Nope, he's going to enclose. Well, all right, that's fine by me. Um... I'm leaning towards just going and playing standard uh, kind of dealio over here. I would like to play here into here, but it just doesn't really work all that well. Instead, we are going to expand off of here. I will immediately say that there is an approachy point over here that we might do. Extend. Go ahead and hit, and then we're going to back off. Thus building our happy little area like so. I would go uh, to the start point, but you'll take note, I've got like a three stone wall. Mostly two. So if I go one, two, three, four, five, I mean, that just doesn't make sense ever. Therefore, we will play like so. Where will he play next? That is the question. Now, this guy's name is Threedon. Why is his name Threedon? Did I miss something? Did he used to be a Threedon or something? No, doesn't look like it. Hmm? I don't know. So he's uh, playing a couple of small moves. This one's very curious because I can still play in here and I can still play in here. So, I mean, it's like a suggestion of an area, but I really wouldn't say it's... um. That frightening, all things considered. Um, <laughs> I'll go grab myself a little enclosure. This move is becoming very big, so we're going to keep it on the field. No reason to get all banana shape. I'm going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 3. 21 points, that's fine. Got himself an extra 3, 6, 9. Again, not really feeling all that... Uh, Worried about what he's doing. 
Now, I want to play basics here. I don't want to go like crazy. Uh, it's I will point out this is not magically all of his territory. You cannot take this much territory with like four stones. Like if if it was possible to take what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven. Like if it was possible to take seventeen pairs of three with four stones, we'd be playing it constantly. Just doesn't exist just doesn't exist. Question I have to raise is do I want to keep building or do I reduce this first? I'm leaning towards the reduction. I, I've got I feel like I have to keep this kind of under under control as it were. All right, so where are we gonna go? Um, I might do something some, something as simple as this one here. It's a little textbooky. Sure, why not? I'll go ahead and launch an invasion. Small reduction, small reduction. Don't want him like pulling sixty points out of his butt in the lower left hand corner. That'd be kinda be kinda weird and cringy. So let's keep it under control. Even though we want to build. Even though we want to build. Gotta be careful if our opponent's trying to do, you know, weird stoofs. It is what it is. All right, um, here, he goes underneath, then he's on the third line, not the fourth. I could go up again. That gives me the ability to ladder. Uh, yeah, that kind of works. I like it. I'll extend on up. Actually, it gives me a lot of ability to ladder right now, doesn't it? I can go here, he goes there, I go there, bam, bam, bam. I will play this one first, though. The hunt is pretty special. There we go. See, this is this is much more reasonable, isn't it? What about the extension? The Hane there is still pretty strong, but he might Hane back. I could just play here. Yeah, there. Nice and simple. I like it. Book it. Done. Um, you starting to connect underneath. Do I care about that? I feel like I don't. Make sure I'm out. You know, I think we can remove this one off the field. Now we're looking at enclosures, things of that sort. Um, and to that end, I think I'll take my enclosure uh, now, actually. I'm not on enemy lines. No reason not to take it. So a building we will go. A building we will go. Hi ho. The Dario. A building. We will go. Can I go into your area? He should ignore this. That's a mistake. That is a mistake. Reinforce. Next move I want to get something over in here. Okay. Ah! They're going to try to attack me, finally. How interesting. No, what's interesting is I make a little bit of a mistake there. Uh, if I went and played for shape and allowed him to cut through me, whoa, and allowed him to cut through me, then this would serve me pretty well, all things considered. It gets a little bit more territory, sure, but at the same time, so would I, which is, oops, hello, back up, which would be much, much better. He's kind of forced into that scenario because if he decides, for example, that he does not want to play that, then he's giving me the Atari, or I could even play this one. If he tries to push and cut through me, then that is a ladder, and that is easier to deal with. So I probably should have gone back to shape here. Connecting to let him to do like this weird pokey stuff is a little bit uh, cringe. Also, 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 I probably could have played here because if I play this one. We're settled. 
Because I don't think he's going to do something like this one. This seems like the bad idea because this gets killed. So chances are this is going to be Sente, which makes it again harder to do the whole pushing thing. And then we could definitely go back and take a bigger move. So slight, slight shape mistakes here that I didn't get called out on. I played too fast, but now you know them, so you won't. Here, I will, I will pretend to be frightened and run away. i would be like, help, help, I'm under attack. But truthfully, I don't really think we're uh, going to be in any danger here. If I'm being earnest, Kahane, I don't think he can really do much after that. He needs to be careful. If he gives me a wall here, it faces my influence. That would be not a good thing. One of the things that I'd like to do is get like an enclosure or like a kind of an extension. He can't cut me. You know that you can't cut me, right? Okay. Um, sure. Hane there then, right? Did I just get Sente out of this exchange? I got Xente out of this exchange, it's really good for me. So I don't think you can let me Hane here to work with the top. See, this kind of thing is very, very tempting to do, but you don't do it, man. You don't try to like go for the solid territory immediately because it's not really that big. Like even now, I can play here and he cannot kill that stone because I'm not behind the sector line. He cannot kill it. So what is he what is he really getting? I've got four minutes. Let's go ahead and talk about this for a while. So if he gets the four, the fourth line, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like we already mentioned. This is 21. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can I call this 30? Let's just call it 30. I'm gonna call it 30 points. It isn't, but shut up. So 51 points. Sweet. Do I have 51 points? That is a really good question. Maybe I don't. I mean, what, what if I just don't have 51 points? Well, the corner here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, that's seven, that's seven threes. That's pretty big. I mean, that's, that's, that's this, right? So then the rest of this just has to equal this section, like this area here, this area here, and my influence. And Comey. Wait, do I have Comey? I do have Comey. Okay. I wasn't sure. Get rid of some of these things. There we go. Alright, cool. Uh, so if I play here, he's going to cut through me. I'm just going to jump out, I think. <clears throat> sure. I I'm just going to defend my cutting point, kind of, sort of, and just kind of, you know, kind of skedaddle. This move is becoming so stupidly huge right now. It's ri It's ridiculous. That would just be like, ooh, oh shoot. He's going in a very tight area. My mouse is already anticipating him extending and going above him. He needs to live here. Or I guess he can just drop dead, that works too. I mean, sure. Being, being dead's cool. I guess? Question mark? Hmm. I will poke at that, I guess. And then threaten to falsify his eye. New move I want to play is here. To kill off the stone. This is not two eyes. Sure. We've secured this territory, which is great. I might kill this. Or I might just go and build again. It's hard to say. I can do either or here. I'm happy with either. Get a wall here, cut this off, and this entire area enlarges. I mean... You know, it's whatevs. 
I should play here. I think I'm going to be gentle, and I'm just going to play this one. We're just going to be super gentle. Just surround him. I'll try not to kill this. Take the uh, big point over here. And as you can see here, I am voiceovering because I made a mistake in editing. Somehow music got involved. Weird, but can't allow that on my channel. So redoing this, showing in editing that you can Hane here. This would kill Black because if you would Hane, he Ataris you back. As you can see, that wouldn't work. But if we cut here, he has to Atari. We take the other stone. He tries to do something to come out. We cut him off. And as you can see, Black's little clump here is extremely, extremely dead. Doesn't take a whole lot of reading, but if you can read it, congratulations, you can kill him here without a doubt. Now, unfortunately, we don't really kill people in basics. A little bit of a secret of ours, so we're just not going to do that uh, in the actual game. He could play this way instead. As you can see, the Hane kills that way too. You connect, he can't cut. So there's a lot of ways that this just works. And even the group that he creates here now would die. If he tries to connect back, you Atari, throw in easy peasy. And if he tries to live, he just gets captured. So a lot of ways, a lot, a lot, a lot of ways for you to just kill off these stones. But again, basics. So we ain't gonna. Don't worry. It's gonna be okay. Question is, do we call him on it? <clears throat> Reason why I can play it. If I play here, he plays here. I Atari, he takes. I Atari the three stones. He's got to connect. And then I Atari here and we're alive completely. Letting him connect. If he does not live here again, I'll probably go back and kill him. Maybe. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. That's still the wrong move. Wait, no, is it? Ish. There, oh, man. It's so crazily complicated here. I don't even know what to tell you. Um, If I play here and it takes that, I have to kill him. I don't want to kill him, so I'll just take a big point over here, I guess. I don't have to worry about my connection here. If I get this one, I can literally Hane, and he can't cut. Up to you. I am not killing you. But I need you to go away. <laughs> Connect up! I will Hane and kill your stones. 100%. Can you not read it? Uh oh. Maybe he doesn't know. Hmm. Will give me the Hane? Ah, okay. No Hane for me. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Everything uh, ends well that. Words? How's that saying go? All's well that ends well? There you go. Um, I guess let's play here. I don't know. I could like literally just play this one and kill it. Like I don't really see where it goes, you know. I'll take it. See where it goes. See what's doing. See what's up. That move is coming very big. I might do this one instead just to make sure that yeah, I don't have to do any weird uh three three complicated shenanigans. He does have a lot of territory, though. I have actively avoided killing the right-hand group. As you well know. Um... Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. These, however, are dead, and they're going to stay that way. If he runs this out, it's bad. Okay. You can't get in this way. I do a fresh invasion. My group here is pretty solid. If he connects back, we're going to do a diagonal. Um, any, many, it doesn't matter. 
Okay. See, this is the way you don't want to try to reduce all the influence. This is the way you do not want to try and do it. Like, if you admit this fight is going to probably be really, really bad for you, then what you want to do instead is look for anything else. You know? Find Aji somewhere else. Because right now this is just dead. Like, go in here, try to use this later. But trying to drag this out of a very strong area, oof, not good. Not good, not good, not good. You want to avoid that kind of thing at all costs. Because now you're just removing all of the Aji in the area. So if you had a chance to legitimately reduce the area, you took those chances and you're like, shh. And you just smothered it until it stopped moving. It's like, okay. I showed that. I showed those chances, who's boss. But yeah, here he's dead. He's literally going to my stones. There's nowhere for him to go. There, there's just nowhere for him to go. So this is rip in pepperoni. And now I don't have to count anymore and worry about like where, uh, what the territory's like, what's going on and all that stuff. All right, which way to do this one? There are multiple ways to do this, but what's the cleanest? This, 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 I think is wrong because he pushes then. Just pushing over is probably the easiest. Maybe this one's the cleanest, eh? Maybe this one's the cleanest. Yeah, I'm kind of digging this one. This way I don't have to constantly read out like, well, can he cut through me now? Can he cut through me now? Can he cut through me now? No, he can't. I literally just fixed that. There is no cut there anymore. It's all G, baby. This stone might die, but it's irrelevant because he needs two eyes to live, and that's just one, so it's not a it's not even an issue. This group is just not alive. I'm sorry, sir. It's just no room to live. It's just no room to live. And I know that without even reading, because like, oh, the only reading I did is, do I want this cut remaining? And I'm like, you know what? No. Is defending it Sente? Yes. Okay, that's my move. Can I be cut? I can be cut. Can I protect it in Sente? I can protect it in Sente. Let's do that. That's as far as I read. Far as I read. And even 10 Qs should be able to do that much. You know? Identify the cutting point. Defend the cutting point. Sente? You're good to go? Good to go. But yeah, unfortunately, this is... This is ripping pepperoni. The Ataris, I can just connect back. Again. Same deal. Exact same deal. Hey, look, there's a cut. Not anymore. All right, we're done. Make sure this goes nowhere. Make sure there's nothing in here. If there was, I could go Atari, connect, Atari, take. I really wouldn't be worried about that. If necessary, I could do some kind of like local secchi between this one and this one, then capture the outside. I don't really have to spend any time reading to see if my group dies or not, because that would mean that this group lives and this group lives for this group to die. Oh, look who's getting fancy. That almost actually works. But it doesn't quite, because you can see if he Atari's me, we extend. If he Atari's me, there's a connection here, connection here. 
So it doesn't quite uh, doesn't quite work out. You see? It doesn't quite do it. If it did, I just connect and there wouldn't be a problem. It would be, it'd be fine. It'd be whatevs. But yeah, we've been looking after our shape. Um, I think at this point he can have my bloody corner. All yours, boo. He does not want my bloody corner. <laughs> well, that's a different conversation, isn't it? Atari. Atari. And then force him into the corner. All right. The reason why we're doing this is because I want this move. Ooh, someone's getting fancy. All right. We're getting fancy. If I play here, he ignores me, and I play here. Is that a pro? Who cares? Hmm. He'll play here, and it's annoying. I'll play this one. This actually threatens the Atari here. Co for life. No, he plays here. Yeah, never mind, not a co for life. Whoops. He was alive as is. And because he played this stuff, I can actually drop down into here pretty deep. Pretty deep. So yeah, that's definitely, uh, ooh, Atari, gotta be careful. Okay, he does not want me going in there pretty deep. Apparently, there's something about that that just strikes him, uh, with a giant nope. All right, fair play to you, good sir. I will not be going into your area. This is yours, my good man. This is yours, Atari. Really? Maybe that's the way to do it. That's cool. Um, I play here. He does this one. Seems fine. I have way too many liberties here to care about whether or not I have to capture this now or later. Blah, 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 blah. Don't even have to worry about it. He can play here and push me back. But he has to protect. Alrighty then. Wait, actually if I play here, I kinda of live as is. Well we could just play here and live as is. That's true. I'll grant you that one. That's true. Good point. Poke, I guess. Um Does this do anything? Does this do anything? Hmm. Probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. Poke there instead. Poke, 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 poke. Really? You think I can't push in again, do you? Why do you think that? Why do you think that? That's a weird thing to think. I don't think that's true. I like my shape. I don't think you can do anything to it. My shape is pretty strong. My shape is pretty strong. It is strong like mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me more. Uh huh. Righto. Yippers. Yeah, see? You hurt yourself. You hurt yourself. I thought that was a little weird. I thought that was a little strange. Okie dokie. I'll keep those stones. I think it's a good exchange for me. I get the three and the area around them. I got to reduce them a little bit more. Hmm. I, I think this is a good exchange for white. Oh. Careful about that. Uh, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah, we're fine. 
can connect solidly there, no problemo. Uh, I guess since we're going into endgame, um, sure, I'll go and play here. Play here. Go ahead and do some of that. Pick up a couple of pointy pointies. I can Atari, right? He Atari's me back. Uh, he Atari's me back. He Atari's me. I think it's fine. Ah! Yeah, it's fine. I'll play here. He can play this one, but there's no point to it, because if I play here, if he plays here, I can't connect. So I have to take, and then he can Atari. But the problem with that one is he gave me a point to get rid of the eye. So that only really makes sense if uh, he can force me to not have two eyes. So just playing the Atari into a connect is the same as the throw in into the Atari into the fill. Because you're getting one point either way. It's one of those weird things where you, you take note of it. And it's like, well, if my opponent actually tries to play that way, then... Clearly, someone is not counting properly. It's like, hmm, interesting, interesting. But yeah, primarily, he invaded my corner in the upper left, and then he has his initial territory, and after that, he died everywhere. And the reason for that is because I got... When you take territory that early on, you can kind of force your opponent to keep it. Or the area that you're taking is not always large enough. Like, he didn't like me growing in here, so he jumped into an invasion that was dead. But I let it connect. Because the board was still in such a state that it was so open because he didn't do corner side center. He did, like, corner into middle something stuff. Kind of weird. But because he did that, hold up. Um, he goes here, I go there, and it's fine. So, he goes here, here, yeah, it's fine. So, because he did that, right? I got to just take the open areas, because they were open. That was a mistake, he should have blocked. The cut doesn't work yet. Because this Liberty is still open. If Liberty was gone, then yeah, if he blocked here, I Atari, and then just dropped down, that would have been trouble. Uh-huh. All right, um, yoink. Ugh, that, that corner took a pounding, man. Oof. That corner took a pounding. It clearly has an OnlyFans. Mm. So that corner uh, did get reduced a little bit. That is true. That is true. Other than that, not a lot to talk about. Oh, yeah, okay. Anything here to worry about? I don't think so. I literally have an eye. And now uh, let's go ahead and play here. That should be fine. Pass. Nope. Sorry. This one over here. I, I, yep. I forgot about that one. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. You're right. Now pass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now pass, now pass, now pass. And then remove the dead stones. Nani? Ah, uh, snap dragons. No, it's a lie. Pass. I think that's it. Right? Yeah, I don't think it'd do anything to me. Even with the two outside liberties gone, this still has three. Things. Yep, there we go. You have won. Alright, so we won by about 50 points. Cool. Question is, how did that happen? Review started. Oh, I probably should have said thank you for the game. Sorry. 
Um, so the question is, how did that happen? Essentially, he went early three, early three threes for hardcore territory. Great. But then he went territory into building, which is weird. He should be going corner, side, center. And there are two corners. There are two corners that are still available right now. And he's ignoring them both to go for, like, middle East stuff. So, okay, interesting. I will admit that is an interesting gamble, but does it really work out for him is the question. So he plays there, and I also want to point this out. Like, if he actually played this way, who's getting more? Let's say I force-fed him everything he wanted. Who's getting more out of that exchange? Clearly white is, because this is decent sized, but this is decent sized and it's got potential. This has no potential anymore. It does have potential to be reduced, right? It's got that potential. It, oh, it can still do that, but it can't grow. So fundamentally, it's just not a good idea. Not a good idea. And then here, it's like, hey, he's got a handful of territory. We could just, you know, who cares this at this point? Because, like I mentioned, there's like invasion points over in here. You know, to reduce this, we can keep this from growing too large and take the middle. We, we can do things to this later to our advantage. It's not the end of the world, but just to make sure it doesn't like really do anything crazy. Bam, we reduced. Then we came out, make sure we're not surrounded. Not surrounded, bam, took a larger point. And again, he's still not engaging elsewhere on the board. So what rank was this? 2Q? Yeah, he needs to work on um, his board sense. Finding big points, because right now, yeah, he's not, he's not really finding them. The, this bottom stuff and this left stuff, Mm. It's too small. It's too small. Um, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it, right? Here, he just, he could die. For those of you who weren't sure how that would ever happen, let's uh, go ahead and show you real quick. So because he played this way, we can play here. And then if he plays this one, we've got this one. He can't self Atari. So that is completely safe to play. He has to connect up or he's dead. Actually, can he even do that? No, he can't. He would get into a uh, snapback, or whatever you want to call this. He'd have no liberties and he'd be dead. So that, that's that's option one. And then, of course, the other way, which is... I play here, he plays here. And now he has no shape, and he's dead again. So, just like I showed. Just like I showed. But didn't have to do that, because there was so much on the board that was still open. And then, yeah, here he just can't live. So yeah, that is the end of that one. Hope you enjoyed this wonderful build. Unfortunately, buildy games do tend to get rather violent, because people don't really know how to reduce them effectively. So... It's kind of like, I don't know, being back in school and you forget the combination to your locker, so you try to break in with your face. That, that's pretty much what happens here. Like, there's probably a combination, set of numbers, that can, you know, reduce this area. Maybe not as much as you'd like, but you could, you could like, get in there and reduce it. But he hasn't... He doesn't know what the numbers are. He's forgotten the numbers. So he just started smashing his head into it over and over and over again. And that that's that's not getting inside the locker. That's that's just never going to get in the locker. It's just not going to happen. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed this game. As always, I'll see you next time. Take care, buddy.